Marhaba, wassalamu ya shabab. Welcome to a brand new video in part 26 of this tutorial series. In the previous part, we added some unit tests for fetching a single task by ID and for creating a task. As promised, I added uh, other unit tests uh, for fetching a list here. I mean, uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah, here, fetching a list for deleting a task and for updating a task. So you will all find it in the uh, branch 25. Now let's move on. On 26, we have to add unit tests for the view model. And yeah, let's start with this. Now, you know, just go in here, option enter, create test. And yeah, you can here you can just set the check marks for setup and teardown. Click on OK. Yes, in unit test, make sure it's on unit test. Say OK. Okay, let's but just let's get rid of this Jupyter imports. Uh, we will. Uh, we need, uh, sorry, we just need a before and a after. Before, JUnit, and uh, just take after order from JUnit, that's good. Okay, but we have to annotate this test class with uh, experimental coroutines core API, and we need some fields in here. Uh, we need a rule for the instant task executor rule for the live data. Mm, let's say add get colon rule. Mm, call this test instant test instant task executor rule. Task executor rule. It's it's not it's rule. Yes. Okay. And of type test rule. And it's equal to instant task executor rule parentheses and that's it that's for the live data and now we need a rule for the coroutines okay let's test coroutine rule um, rule Okay, next field will be all about our mocks. We need some mocks, we need a relaxed mock. Let's say private laid in it var uh, mock HTTP exception. Type HTTP exception, and we need another relaxed mock. Mm -hmm. Private late in it var for response observer. We need we need to mock the response uh, the observers as well. And as far as I remember, this relaxed mock annotation. I hope I'm not wrong, but otherwise can just look it up and correct me in the comment section below. Uh, wait, this yeah, uh, response observer. Um, the this annotation is for like um, the mock gets created when it gets needed in the code, then the init initialization. Uh, but this is now observer of type. Which type? Uh, so import 
server its view state and now we say task fetch response fetch response okay we need two more let's just duplicate this line and this will be plural this will hold multiple observers so respo response observers and just make this a list of task fetch response okay and we can also yeah just take this copy it this is for the boolean when something gets deleted response observer uh, uh, delete type observer boolean okay because we need these three here because we have live data and as you can see for these live data objects we need those observers okay one more since we are not testing the we already did the testing of the repository logic we will just mock it in here let's say relaxed mock again private late in advar and we say mock repository of type task repository okay and we have our few model we need our object on a test and so the cool thing is here this testing library knows what to inject here and it knows it needs this task repository instance injected so um, mocha is quite cool quite useful and we can use inject mocks in here and it will just inject the mocks we need private late in it var object and test again and the test and we say of course task view model implementation that's good and we need some classes again i would just copy them i mean just objects um we need what we need when we need mm, a task create request object and a task update object Put it in here that's great okay okay and we need uh, one more thing we need is private mal uh, fetch response of type task fetch response mm -hmm. and we just give id to one uh, description right tests <laughs> and data fields they can be just i don't know um yeah, just do it quickly is reminder set uh, sorry my ade is reminder set false is I forgot always this here task open true and one more thing created on I forgot it again damn it created on is null priority is let's say low okay okay and of course we need to do some before stuff 
here we say before every test mock mock k mm, where is it mock k annotations there it is in it this okay so the mock k annotation get injected properly and created and now we have to take up object on the test object on the test here we have access to the lighted object task and we have always to say remove observer and put in the right observer response observer okay uh, object on the test now we take the plural the tasks we say again remove observers and we say response observers ah sorry we have just one so just this remove observer again and object under test mm, is delete successful remove observer okay this is done now our teardown is done and as i said in the previous video we start with testing um, get task by id so we'll also ta start with that one but i think i will just leave it for now and um see you in the next video where we start testing actually things this was this was just a setup again so see you in the next video